your old buddy Joe here, bridging the gap between best practices and the reality that you live every day in your factory, bringing to you stories from my lessons and uh, failures and successes uh, from my life and times as a plant manager, leader, and engineer. Uh, today's topic, you hear me talk about chalk circle observation all the time. I'm going to talk today a little bit more about rules in use. Rules in use and the seven forms of waste are two learnings that you need to have so when you go out and do observation, you can see problems easier. You don't always have a guide like Joe uh, and somebody that's been there and done this. So learn these skills, go out, do your chalk circle observation and advance your career, advance your plant, advance your community. Hit like and subscribe. Down here to my bottom left, you should see a subscribe link. We're getting a lot of um, uh, additional subscribers in the last few days. I'd like to hit 150 with this video. So um, I talked about, like I said, rules in use. The uh, There are only four. Number one, the work of one. Number two, connections. Number three, fixed flow. Number four, improvement. Simple concepts, right? Okay, so let's get into this. The work of one. That means when you have the work of one, is, do there, is there a content? Is there a sequence to the task? Time required and the expected outcome. Okay, as an example, we need to change the belt on a fan, okay? Sometimes you get work orders, instructions. As a, as a craftsperson, it says, fan doesn't work. Fix it. Two mechanics, eight hours. The mechanics look at that. They have no idea what's wrong with it. The eight hours, you know, leaves a lot of slop in there. Uh, they don't know their, how they uh, are supposed to coordinate the work. They don't understand uh, how to lock and tag it, where any parts may be located. It really is just like points them in a direction and say, have fun, guys, and which is extremely efficient. That's why a lot of plants are about 15% wrench time. So let's consider an alternative here. Uh, fan bait belt four is slipping on the shiv. Tension or replace the belts. The new belts are located on shelf one, two, three of the crib. They've been verified as the correct belts. No special tools are required. No equipment is required. Production will have a, the equipment locked out at 8 a.m. This should take about two hours total to complete this work. Call Jane by her cell phone number by 10 a.m. whether you're finished with the job or not. Give her new instructions. So very close uh, connection there. Uh, the lockout is located at column 56. Remove the guard. It, uh, evaluate the belts. Uh, if you need to change, um, you know, loosen the motor. Remove the belts. Install the new belts. Document any improvement that you see or the root cause of why the belts were slipping in the first place. So that's the work of one. You have content, sequence, time required, and expected outcome. Connections, rule two. Production to maintenance, maintenance to production. You know, electrical to mechanical, huge amount of waste in this space. Connections is probably your best source to find easy, low-hanging fruit there in the uh, under in one of the seven forms of waste. You know, let's give an example. Uh, I was at one plant and they had to do some power washing to clean up some equipment. It gets a lot of dirt and grime on it before they would, uh, you can actually do maintenance on it. Um, but this power washer had to have an approval to proceed to do their work. Their start time was six o'clock in the morning. The average start term time observed by me uh, was 9 a.m. in the morning. So we wasted three hours in that connection between we have approval to uh, start the work from when they actually started work. So that three hour gap, low hanging fruit, easy to get. No, didn't cost anything. So example number two, shift change. Shift change is another uh, location for significant waste. And this is maybe one maintenance crew, day shift to afternoon shift. What's that connection look like? Is information flow freely? Do they know exactly what to do? Are they redoing work? Hours can be saved there on shift change. Um, let's see. So that's rule two. Rule three, 
fixed flow. There's one right way of doing things. My example there is, hey, there's one way to get a work order into the system. You know, operations, everybody is trained on how to go into their CMMS system, enter a work order. There's one way that um, work orders are approved for, uh, for work control. There's one way they get on the schedule and there's one way of executing. Everybody does it the same way. Then you can optimize that. You don't have post-it notes coming into your planner. You don't have emails coming in, hallway conversations. There's one way to do, of doing things so they're not lost. The last rule, rule four is improvement. You know, you know, improvement is not just a word like, hey, yeah, if you guys got any improvement ideas, let us know. You know, uh, it's a crew expectation. For example, to fill out a form. Uh, every work order has a form that says improvement, you know, and it's part of the work pack to, you know, say, hey, draw what you think we ought to change. Let me know what your ideas are. It's part of the work pack. You know, and another example, is the planner meets with the supervisor daily at two o'clock and talk about how things went that day. So, you know, the, the planner doesn't, isn't out there on the front lines, can't see the problems and chaos that they may have, you know, put into the system. So the supervisor or, ex, or an execution person comes and meets with the planner and says, this went well, this didn't go well, we need to do this next time. That's part of building improvement into your process. Supervisor may meet at the, with the crew at the end of the day. Say your crew, your shift ends at uh, uh, three o'clock, maybe at 2.40 each day, the supervisor says, hey, you know, how did this job go to the crew? And they give him feedback, him or her feedback on how it went and how they can improve that next time. You know, this is all in addition to standard OEE meetings that may be every month, equipment reliability team meetings where they may meet on the performance of an asset every two weeks. Um, and of a five why Wednesday, you know, one of the things I really liked at one of my plants is is the supervisor held a five why Wednesday. So met with the entire crew and said, okay, let's talk about one job that was executed last week or in the last couple days. And, and let's talk about how we can do it better or, or what the root cause of the issue was to begin with, five why Wednesday. So what's your process of improvement, not just your words and say, yeah, we're about improvement, what, but what's your process? So those are four simple rules. Coupled with the seven forms of waste can greatly uh, uh, enhance your ability to see problems and opportunity in the workplace. So your task for next week, quickly, and you should be able to answer this in 10 seconds. What project or process are you most concerned about accomplishing or conquering in the next 30 days? What causes you the most grief that you don't know quite the answer of it. It's a complex issue, frustrating issue, historical issue, and you wanna make some progress in it. What is that issue? Write it down. Where can you see that process or problem firsthand? Where can you draw your chalk circle on the ground to go out and observe that? Do it. Next week, take four hours, put it on your schedule, and go and stand there for four hours. Don't give up after two hours. Don't give up after three hours. I'm telling you, you'll come away feeling extremely powerful from the low hanging fruit, the easy problems you find by applying seven forms of waste and your newly understood uh, rules in use, the work of one, connections, fixed flow and improvement. Again, lastly, begin your journey. This stuff isn't that hard. This isn't, you know, this isn't splitting the atom, folks. You know, you can get free pointers on my videos. I love that. You can also send me comments in this, uh, uh, on this you know, YouTube channel or, or on LinkedIn, whatever you're, wherever you're getting this from. You get free pointers from me. Send me an email. I, I answer about 15, 20 emails a day. I'd like to help you for free. And my model is, you know, one out of 100 of you folks listening to this are going to contract with me and, you know, pay me to, to come to your site. You know, Joe's got to make some money, right? But 99 out of 100 folks, I'm just trying to help and, and uh, grow the uh, industry and, and make you guys more effective. You know, I promise you, I, if you use me, I can shave years off your deployment. I've done this before. I've done it at multiple plants. I've done it at my plants. I know the problems that you're going to run into. I'm rarely surprised I've been doing this for 32 years. Hit like and subscribe. Thank you.